I would like to greet all of the participants of this forum. Thank you very much for this invitation. My name is Emin Milli and I'm director of uh, Maidan TV, independent media platform for Azerbaijan, uh, and also former political prisoner. Uh, I remember when I was in a forgotten jail in the south of Azerbaijan. I remember that moment when I received a book uh, with a message from Václav Havel himself. It was a great moment. It was also a great act of solidarity of a great man, uh, which he has shown uh, to a dissident in a forgotten country, in a forgotten part of Europe. So now and today, I think um, how much people in the world care about legacy that people like Havel leave behind themselves. How much people in Czech Republic actually care about the struggle for human rights and democracy that what he was putting up in 70s, in 80s, uh, but also later when he became president of Czechoslovakia and then Czech Republic. So uh, for me, this is a really fundamental question because uh, I personally, uh, of course, don't believe that other nations should intervene into affairs um, of other nations to bring democracy or freedom uh, or anything else. Uh, agreed on that, but I think, it, I think it's a moral duty uh, and I think it's um, uh, very important to support those who in many uh, parts of the world, in many different countries, are fighting, are risking their lives, their freedoms to fight for democratic transformation in their own societies. Uh, Havel was supporting people like this. He was supporting dissidents in remote countries. And I'm not talking just about financial support or institutional support, structural support. More than anything else, he was doing it morally. He was doing it by sending a small book to a forgotten jail in a forgotten country. Uh, he was doing this by organizing Forum 2000. Unfortunately, by the time I was released and I could make it to Forum 2000, uh, Havel has died, so I could never meet him in person. But his legacy is there. Uh, I know that in his writings he was complaining a lot about uh, Czech people who didn't understand him uh, when he was a dissident, didn't support him back then, but also uh, when he was, became a president, even later, uh, when he stopped being president, uh, he was constantly, in a way, complaining about lack of understanding. And I've been in Czech Republic now many times, uh, and I share this concern uh, that uh, sometimes I have a feeling that the ideas of economic engagement with totalitarian countries are taking over, over uh, in my opinion, existential uh, importance of supporting freedom, even, first of all, in immediate neighborhood of uh, Czech Republic, like in former Soviet unions, because it's not just about supporting dissidents and civil societies in those countries who want to uh, do exactly the same what Czechs have done by the end of 80s and in 90s, uh, but it's also about, uh, you know, Czech Republic, about Europe, about European Union, uh, because um, the more these people in the East don't see your support, the more dictators, totalitarian-minded heads of nations that actually uh, enslave their own nations feel emboldened uh, to march and to take the flag of totalitarianism further and deeper into Europe, as we had it once. Uh, don't think it's just about them or someone else, it's also about you, and I encourage you to support dissidents uh, all over the world and first of all in post-Soviet space. Thank you very much for your attention.